What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again, and I'm gonna give you three signs that a guy is just using you for money. Now, I don't want you to get it twisted. When I talk about using you for money, I'm talking about somebody basically just getting over on you and you really not getting anything in return or not getting a commitment or not building a relationship. There's nothing wrong with helping somebody and you guys building something together that you're both going to benefit from in the long term. That's actually a good thing. One of the best times to get with somebody is actually when they're on the way up and not when they're already there. A lot of times when somebody's already there, they generally treat you like you're something they bought, like a car, a house, or something that came with their success. But when you get somebody on the way up, a lot of times they treat you a lot better because they feel like they need you and they feel like you've been an important part of what they've accomplished. So what I'm going to be talking about right now is when somebody's not doing that, when somebody's not building anything with you, but they're really just using you. Sign number one, downgrade. This is when somebody promises you the world. Baby, I want to take you to the Bahamas. I want to take you all around the world. I want to buy you diamonds and pearls. If I could, I would give you the world. Anything, baby, anything you ask. Only to come back and say something like, hey girl, my money funny. We just gonna have to chill at your house and see if we can find something on Netflix. You still got the stuff to make tacos? Now the problem isn't the fact that they may not have the money to do some of the great things that they wanna do for you. The problem is that they tried to sell you something else. They tried to sell you a beautiful dream, but give you a harsh reality. That's not cool. That shows that a person is using you. That shows that they're trying to get over because they're not keeping it real. If they were keeping it real and said, look, girl, I don't really have a lot of money. Let's take a picnic. Uh, I'll bring the chicken. You bring the potato salad. Uh, maybe I don't even have a blanket. I might have to be on a sheet, but let's do this together. Let's pull our resources and try to have a good time. That's somebody being genuine, telling you up front what they have and what they don't have and trying to make things work. That's really different from selling you a dream, selling you something false to try to get you to give more than you really should. Sign number two, one-sided. This is when you're doing everything you possibly can. This is when you're constantly giving and giving and giving and they're not doing anything for you. This is when they're just taking and taking and absorbing. Now, sometimes, yes, they may not have it, but when they do, all right, this is a situation where you're like, look, babe, I got some money and I just want to spend it all on you. Then when they get some money, they're like, look, I ain't got it right now. That's not cool. When you see yourself putting in everything you have, giving your resources, doing what you can do, and they won't even give what they have, they won't even contribute what they do have, yes, yeah, sometimes they may not have money. Sometimes they may not be in a position where they can financially help you, but even when they won't contribute what they do have, uh, they may fix cars and your car breaks down and they don't even offer to help you fix it. They don't even offer to take a look at it for you. That's something that they could have saved you money and that could have possibly kind of balanced your relationship a little bit, but they decided not to do it because they just didn't want to. They decided not to mow the lawn for you. They decided not to fix something around the house, even though they may have total capability to do those things. That's showing you that they won't even help you with the resources that they currently have. So what makes you think that when they do get on their feet, if they ever get on their feet, they would do anything for you? They probably won't. If they won't even give you the resources that they have now, if they won't help you with the things that they can help you with now, that means that they're not going to do any better in the future. If you're constantly giving and getting nothing in return, then you are being used. Number three, Excuses. Look, some people don't want to get up and leave you behind. Some people just want to stay down and have you support them while they're down. They just want to leech off of somebody for as long as they possibly can until they get to the point where that person gives up on them and then they go leech off of somebody else. That's the game plan. That's what they do. Okay? Now you can tell by this, you can tell this is happening by the fact that they're constantly making excuses. Now, when they're making excuses, that's basically them telling you that everything is somebody else's fault and whatever's going on in their life, you need to do something to make it happen. 
All right. You need to do something to fix it. This is when they're like, hey, babe, can you come fill out my application? Hey, babe, can you lick this envelope for me? Babe, you think you can go ahead and tie my shoes? Hey, babe, go ahead and sign my application for me. My pen out of ink. This is a situation basically where they will do nothing for themselves and they're constantly blaming other people. They're really just looking for more and more excuses to get you to continue to take care of them. They're not trying to get up. They never will get up and they'll constantly just ask you for stuff until they finally run you out of resources or get you to the point where you're so frustrated and tired with them that you just walk away and then they go find somebody else to suck off of. So when you see somebody making excuses instead of making plans, if you see somebody asking you to do things that they should be able to do for themselves, then that means you need to move on. You're not helping that person get up. You're just aiding somebody, abetting somebody who's not willing to do anything for themselves. You're basically just babysitting a grown ass man who refuses to do anything to live his life. Now, like I said, I don't want you to get it twisted. I don't want you to feel like I'm saying that any dude that's down on his luck or any dude that may need or ask for some help from his woman is a bad guy, a loser, a bum, or somebody that's just using you. The reality is you're going to have to contribute something to a relationship in order to get anything out of it. It's not just about you sitting back and having him do for you while you do nothing for him. That means you're not building any value. But you don't want to waste your resources, your time, your energy on people who are never going to contribute to society and never going to contribute to you. You don't want to put time and energy into people who don't care about you, who just want to take and want to use you for what you have. If they're not giving anything back, if they're making promises and they're not keeping them, if they're not pushing forward, this isn't a person that you want to invest in because this takes from you so you can't invest in the person who really loves you, who really cares about you, so you guys can build something in the future. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.